many feathers shooting stance. Kind of sounds like a crane technique or something like that, but we'll, uh, we'll pick it up. It's incredibly useful when it is useful and not so useful when it isn't useful. Now, oh, we're actually good enough that this is trivial. Interesting. When you get to a high enough level, some dungeons become trivial, and that basically ah! allows us to go rah and destroy the temple or dungeon or whatever effectively, instantly. Which is pretty handy. There's also a nice graphical glitch there. I'm also intentionally ignoring that town. <laughs> or rather, I'm ignoring all towns. Because I honestly have found that most towns in this game are pretty effectively useless. Ow. Now you can upgrade what the towns have in terms of, uh, items in the shop and stuff like that. But, the items in the shop are just unreasonably expensive. Can't hit them from here, seriously? There we go. Unreasonably expensive and not that good, which kind of leads me to believe that the whole real value of the towns is, like, when you have way too much money. Uh, we are going to shell breaker you. And then we are going to power drive you. We are going to stick and move you so that you don't even get a shot off on us. Nice. Blow up. Because these things right here, purloined inventory, they, uh, they upgrade what the town can hold and improve their wares and everything like that, but I have effectively yet to find anything in any town that's worth... I don't want to say anything, but I mean, let's go take a look. So let's let's take a look first. So we have potion shop. Let's see what you got. Uh, axes that we can't use. Sword that is worse than our current sword, and basically nothing else. Okay. okay. And we've got this guy. He's got scrolls of identify. Is that six or sixteen of them? I can't tell. And last but not least, a bunch of spears that I can't use. All right, so we have established that there's basically nothing worthwhile in this area. Now, let's give you some purloined inventory, which basically maxes out the town's prosperity, which gives them, as you can see, one of one. Gives them better items, gives them more inventory, and see, it, it added two things here. I'm actually gonna pick up the liquid bandage. But, eh, that, that's not really worthwhile. Now he's got 19 instead of uh, 16, so he got three extra scrolls of identify, and a bunch of spears that are useless. So I, I genuinely don't understand why I would bother coming to town. Occasionally, they have, like, good potions and stuff. Healing potions are extremely rare, and good healing potions, too. Ah! Perfect. Clear that temple, or that uh, dungeon out. And you can see here, we go from trivial to mundane, so we can actually start going back into dungeons and stuff. Uh, mundane, a town that's kind of useless. More bandit areas. And now see we're an adventurous, so we'll start getting encounters. Uh, and problematic ones at that, so let's... Start by uh, lots of things over here. Not really what I want is to be in the forest with a bunch of dudes chasing me down. This is working for the moment. And I think we can. No, not quite. There's still monsters on screen, so I can't rest it out. All right, well let's let's dip. I can rest here though, can't I? Yes, yes I can. Just take a quick power nap in the middle of a forest with a bunch of enemies nearby. I'm not a fan of you. I don't want you to pull me close. There we 
go. And I can escape this way. Perfect. Now let's go back to where we're in mundane areas. And in fact, go all the way up and just take care of this really quickly. Yeah, so many bombs. Wow. Alright. Lots of damage taken. That's fine, because we can just walk over here. And so we can't rest, but we can hold the past turn button and very, very slowly heal ourselves up. Because we do have healing over time in terms of a slow amount of HP recovery. As you can see, it's like one HP per five rounds. So it's a bit cheesy. Kind of exploits the AI. Boss man is coming over. Ow. Oh, bleeding is the worst. Debuff. Because it, it does a lot of damage. You're a piece of shit. I think I can walk over here now safely and rest. Very slowly rest. They're gonna throw bombs at me. There's one, there's two. They're gonna die. Then we run away. Now we've got all of this purloin inventory and like, these are all kind of middling, not great towns. I've also tried doing something a little bit Ooh, this is adventurous here. Let's let's stick to mundane. Ooh, a, a labyrinth. Or a lair, I guess I should say. Oh, dangerous enemies lying in wait. Do I want to fight them? There's enemies around here somewhere that are hiding. One other small... I mean, this, this feels like... It's not a complaint session. I, I I enjoy this game, but the uh, the Duke Nukem style of having to run your face into every single square inch of the uh, area so that you can spot secrets, it's it's really poorly done. That that is a a, a bad mechanic because all the good secrets are somewhere. And they're not on every floor. But you certainly don't want to miss them. Because if you miss them, then you're just... You're missing out on so much. And so, like, there's an area in here. I have to go... Bonk, 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 really? Now, fortunately, I do know that because this is the bottom of the map, can't go any lower than that. I don't have to check there, but we do have to check every freaking square inch because, as you saw earlier, I got that orange question mark above my head that said powerful enemies lying in wait. Means they're somewhere and somewhere decently nearby. Not like on top of you, but somewhere nearby. Ow. Hello. Hi. Goodbye. So that wouldn't have been him, I don't think. The powerful enemies lying in wait. Ah, see? There's a secret around here, and it's probably this room right here. Yeah, there it is. Now that, that one was really poorly hidden, because it was, I mean, the stair, or the, uh, the edge was visible. That is not always the case. In fact, that is very rarely the case. Resists crush. Massive amounts of extra damage from all manage, uh, magic. Hap. Covering resources at a crazy rate. Okay, well, if I'm going to be taking massive damage from magic, I should be careful for the moment. And I'll take a second to really quickly see if I can't find the exit so that I can drink from those other potion pools, whatever. Yeah, see, there's another one right there. There we 
Yo! Oh, hey, there's the exit right there. Or the uh, way down, I should say. Oh, what the hell? Okay. That was a, that was a trap. Yeah. Teleport. Trap. What do we got here? Full of pep and... Permanently increases science by one. Oh, pretty good. All right, let's go grab that uh, treasure chest. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> All right, never mind. We're not getting any of the junk that's in there because it, uh, it is full of teleport traps. I literally can't get in there to get any of that shit. Deeper we go. Okay, hello. There we go. Now that we're safe in this room. What? Why are you... Stop! Attack him! This is real conspicuous, obviously, but it's not guaranteed that there's something there. It's just... Hello? Well, let that buff run out. Or that uh, debuff, I should say. Now, this does not appear to beat away, so it looks like... Going down. Ooh. Okay. I don't want to deal with the bomb. Ooh. Okay. Let's kill you and do that to back up. Interrupted? By what? Oh, that thing. And interrupted again. And interrupted again. There we go. Yeah, the infinitely spawning enemies. Not, not worth uh, going into in great amount of depth to try and see if you can't kill everything. Rabbit with big horns. These things aren't uh, terrifying looking at all. How crit on the. Yeah, and the way down. Excellent. Deeper we go. Hello, Mr. Slime. I don't feel very much like dealing with you. There are many dangerous foes lying in wait somewhere. That's. generally speaking, not. A good thing? Oh! Well, there they are. <laughs> Destroyer of guilds. It, this guy's an asshole. There we go. And now we rest. That may or may not have been the champion that the game was warning me about. I, I'm going to assume that it was, but... I never know. And, because we picked up so many bows, I don't understand why it keeps putting back to poultry. Let's uh, take a second and check out our armor. So let's put on some terrible slant sandals. Uh, I don't think anything we're facing has cold damage yet, so we'll put on this other thing here. This is straight up a substantial upgrade, so we'll put that on. This seems like a, at least a small upgrade. These are definitive downgrades. We've got a lot of books and stuff. After this, we should head back to the castle, the academy, and uh, dump it off. Put on the shoulder plates. This is a substantially better sword. Just straight up way better. Let's press on. Hello. You guys are a pain in the ass. 
So I will just sit. And rest. Ninjas are not that big of a deal. They, they can do some dash attacks and cause real pain in the butt. Yeah, that was not what I meant to do, but ow. That'll, that'll work well enough. Oh, okay, those banded bowmen are, yeah. Look it, they're gonna bleed me for 20 damage. Like that's one hit, half my health. Bleed is an absolutely busted debuff. Ah! And now we'll... There we go. And here's the way down, so we can rest here for a second. Or not. Or not. Hell, interrupted by monsters again? Where? There. Yeah. You see, if that if that bowman landed one more hit, we'd have been dead. Just, oops, sorry, you're dead. And this might be game right here. If we can get a rest off, we might be okay. Okay, if we got a rest off. Let's take a look at the map. Look at how many frickin' enemies there are! Holy shit! And we haven't even explored anywhere that way or that way yet. Alright, well, it'll be good for the levels. Oh, that's a problem. I don't want to be there, thank you. Uh... Alright, there we go. The one... One benefit, or the one sal uh, saving grace, I guess I'll call it, of those bandit bowmen is that their bows have a little bit short range. Oh, and a level up. Nice. We do outrange them a little bit. Now let's see, do we want to do shields? No, I don't think so. I think medium armor wise. I think we upgrade our medium armor. There are so many. Yeah. So many enemies that I want to keep topped up. Ooh, a lizard man. That is a problem. Uh, lizard men aren't, like, terrifying. They're just... One of the versions of the lizard men is terrifying. Precisely because it hurls rocks at you that do a fuck ton of damage. And ultimately, they themselves are HP sinks. They're just chunky. And so they are constant damage while you kind of sit there and try and kill them. And then everything else piles onto you. And then you're like, okay, well, now what? Guess I'll die. Uh, oh, that's perfect. He can't actually get to me. All right, let's head to the final floor, take care of it, and then get the heck out of here. I'm, I'm kind of liking this bow. It's poisoning a lot of things, which does like next to no damage, but it's extra damage. Ah! Holy crap, that scared the crap out of me. All right, threat assessment. I need you to die. You to die. And I need you to die. Go here and rest. I go here and rest. I don't understand why this floor has become a, is still adventurous, even though we leveled up while we were here. This whole thing was supposed to be mundane. And if this floor is, uh, okay, I was gonna say if it's if it's uh, heroic level, uh, it's not gonna work. Then that won't work at all for us. There's wizards spawning, which is also not great. Ow. Oh, there's one of the lizard men people. It's time to retreat. They're 
it's stuck in the door somehow. Well, that, that worked out perfectly. I don't want to lose all of the hard work and progress that we, uh, we have worked so diligently to get. So let's rest until healed. And then go to the nearest upstairs. And 60% of the time that doesn't work. I'm gonna die. Another one. It's funny that the game can't figure out its own auto pathing. Uh, all right, this is now mundane. Can you please head to the nearest upstairs? Yeah, there we go. See, it, it ducked into other rooms. Like I was like, uh. All right, we're in the middle of combat there. We will come back to that. We're gonna first dump everything off here because we've got a lot of good stuff in our inventory and we're not interested in dying. I have books. Take them, please. Three books. I'm basically a Tomb Raider. All right, I've turned in all my books. Here's some relics. Proofs of strengths, mysterious eggs, all sorts of fun stuff like that. Turning in those those books doesn't actually count here. What those books do is give us bronze, silver, gold, and then I think platinum or diamond or something like that, which is just basically extra damage on those types of enemies. Kill enough of them, one of them will drop a book, and then you move on from there. Identify everything, please. And once again, identify everything, please. And let's see, where are we at? Well, this is just straight up a 10% improvement, so we'll grab that. That's straight up an improvement. Put those on. This is also straight up an improvement. Why don't I want to unequip it? Is it cursed? Oh, come on now. Okay, well... Eat curse. I took four damage. Can I now unequip it? I can now unequip it. Thank you, game. Oh! Well, now it's just as equal as... Interesting. Okay. Alright, well, that's good enough for now. When we come back, we'll dive and hopefully finish that uh, dungeon that we were just in. Till next time, guys. Later.